okay, I'm going to show you how to make swarm traps, my style swarm traps. I've got standard box traps and I also have top bar hive traps. I'm just going to show you about the, the box type for swarm, swarm trap today. All right, so to do that, I've got to pull it down and show you. So hang on. All right, for this box trap, the idea is to get the ideal volume size and the ideal opening to the cavity. Uh, research has pointed out that that's going to be between 30 and 40 liters and that your access hole is going to be around uh, 15 centimeters squared. So, this has been made from scrap wood. I've got plywood ends. I've got old fence planks for the sides. About uh, 20 inches on the fence planks. The sides are about uh, I think 10 inches to 11 inches. And the bottom is just some piece of a wall board I've put in for the, for the side. The top is some piece of plywood I've cut about to the right size and it needs to be screwed down, not nailed down because when you're removing these you're going to have possibly comb on the lid. Also if there's bees in there taking a hammer and un unnailing things is going to be very disruptive. You might break comb, yada yada yada. So screws on the top, everything else can be nails. The inside is important that you keep the dimensions to a standard frame. Whether you're using mediums or deeps, it, it depends upon what you've got to put these into. So, uh, for me, I'm using deeps. I'm also using top bars, but on my Langstroths, I'm using deeps for my Langstroths. Uh, the beauty of it is you can put your trap in place, you catch a hive, in a week you catch one, you don't check your trap for let's say three weeks, you're on vacation, you're gone for a month, what have you. They can build out as much as they want. You've already got frames in here. All you have to do is go pick up the frames and stick them in your Langstroth and you're done. There's no nasty cutout, no wiring and uh, torn, torn comb into your, your new hive. It's simple. It's the ideal way to go. Commercial swarm traps are 15 bucks, about 25 bucks delivered. They're all those, those crappy conical ones that you catch a swarm and if you don't get them out fast, you got a problem. These are great. Back to the design. Just a simple, people, simple piece of wood, in this case a, a wedge piece of siding I have lying around the house. Uh, drill a hole, you're going to go stand up on a stool, nail, it, nail into a tree, hang this on that nail, walk away. All that really has to be done is this whole thing needs to be painted a green or a brown paint to kind of camouflage it so you don't have kids throwing rocks at them. And that, in a nutshell, is how it's built. Uh, one last detail. Here on the entrance, you want to put a nail, hammer and nail, into that hole so that you keep birds out of there and any other vermin you can while it's a trap. Uh, I have seen people putting in half inch uh, hardware cloth to keep out other kind of pests, but that's overkill for me. I like simplicity. With that said, good luck, good building.